This program is rated PG. It contains themes and scenes which may not be suitable for very young audiences. Parental guidance is advised. Moving forward with education is integral in nation building. And as we gear towards a more global approach to learning, technology plays a key role in creating more opportunities for teachers and students to a world of knowledge. Good evening, I'm Pinky Webb, and this is Business Matters. We're doing good is good business. up as early as 5 a.m. every day just to prepare lesson plans for senior high school teacher Dorothy Grace Reyes. Even hand carrying to school her personal computer CPU or central processing unit. to be able to teach and demonstrate to her students computer system servicing. Abot kami sa punto na sabi nga natin, ang, ang trabaho ng isang guru, this is the only profession na magnanako ko ng gamit mo sa bahay para dalhin sa eskolahan. Mabot ako sa punto ng yung computer unit sa bahay, sa ako na magcomputer, kailangan ko sa klase. So, para may mabaklas kami at mapakita ko kung yung tunay na parts ng computer, dalhin mo lahat. Saka gusto ka mo maibigay yung, yung nararapat para sa estudyante. You will go an extra mile. It's been said that anyone can teach, but not everyone is courageous enough to answer its calling. Teacher Dorothy had always known that she was born to be an educator, just like her mother before her. My mom is a public school teacher, so basically I, I admired her for that. So I enjoyed hearing and seeing them grow, and you know, that fills my heart. That that is siguro my main mission. Hindi lang sapat na profession, it's a vocation. However, there came a time that Dorothy had to leave teaching, opting to work for a licensing company with a much higher salary just to be able to support her siblings' schooling. I came around with with the licensing company, which is my dream job, but. At the end of the day, there's some longing sa akin na, ang saya na, maganda bayad, I get to travel. Bakit hindi sapat, hindi kompleto? Dorothy made the choice to return to teaching despite the lower pay grade. Why go back to teaching? Walang pera dito, nanggaling ka na dito. But it's something that fills your heart, eh. yung, yung passion. Dorothy is an ICT, or Information and Communications Technology teacher at the Andres Bonifacio Integrated School, or ABIS, in Mandaluyong City. Being a public school, ABIS before, can't help but fall short, especially with facilities and equipment compared to private institutions. Technology and equipment is a must to be able to provide students proper and competitive education as well as equipping educators with a higher level of computer knowledge. Before, ang budget is of course para sa mga books, para sa mga facilities, and now we are slowly realizing that computers are very essential or is a necessity for students and every learner must have access to it. There is a saying that you cannot give what you, what you do not have. So therefore, you must provide teachers the capability and the knowledge to teach technology to the students. According to the Department of Education, or DepEd, out of 148 countries, the Philippines only ranks 96 in terms of having advanced and modern education. A concerning figure, since to be globally competitive in today's world, one must now be proficient and skilled with technology. During our time, special skills 
computer literate. Ngayon hindi na. It's a required skill na siya. Hindi ka makakahanap na kahit anong trabaho kung hindi ka marunong mag-computer. With technology, you're no longer limited to the four corners of the classroom. You can bring the internet at home, you can bring the internet outside the, the formal classroom and go outdoors. You can use different devices now to, to help with research, uh, studying, uh, saving time, project management, and so many different things. No? And if you are able to equip a teacher and a student with this, you develop one very important be a notion that private schools, compared to their public counterpart, can provide a more advanced and competitive learning environment for their students. Though true to some extent, public schools like Andres Bonifacio Integrated School in Mandaluyong City are now slowly catching up when it comes to having modern and state-of-the-art facilities. Through the support of the Mandaluyong City Local Government, ABIS has been provided a complete ICT laboratory giving teachers and students a higher level of technology and computer knowledge. The help of LGU and Jana Buhus ng gamit, sabi nga natin, papasok na lang ang bata. But the local government can only do so much given its limited budget. One of the biggest pain points is the lack of quality learning resources and lack of teacher training. So the proper use of internet is a, is a great bridge for bringing quality education to the public school sector. To further strengthen the education sector's information and communications technology programs, one of the largest telecommunications company in the country partnered with the Department of Education to provide long-term initiatives that seek to transform select public schools into centers of ICT excellence and innovative teaching methods, thus equipping students with 21st century learning. The Global Filipino Schools Program, or GFS, is a long-term partnership between DepEd and GLOBE, where GLOBE commits to providing 21st century schools uh, in public schools nationwide. What that means is, uh, for all the 200 plus DepEd division offices around the country, GLOBE will support one school per division with free internet connectivity, ICT equipment, uh, and teacher training on how to use internet and ICT equipment in the classroom. Through the GFS or Global Filipino Schools Program, both educators and students are equipped with improved digital skills, especially on the usage of mobile technology and computer software. Student-teacher engagement is also improved thanks to the ICT equipment provided by the program's mobile cart. Um, this is the GFS mobile cart provided by Glue. The, the whole package is consisting of two laptops, um, one projector, the long internet connection, your mobile, and then inside the cart we have 20 tablets. So Globe provided us with a complete package. Tadalin mo siya doon, sasaksak mo with projectors, but it could handle everything. Tapos yan. So the class could enjoy the technology that we wanted to bring in the classroom. The GFS program aims to address the country's poor global ranking in education in terms of proficient and skilled 
with technology. Yes. The, the commitment of the company is to find creative ways to use the solutions available to us uh, to serve the education community. We're experts in internet connectivity. We have the mobile uh, devices available to us. Um, so all we needed to do was have a, a close conversation with the to see what, what's really needed. Through the programs like the Global Filipino School, teachers like Dorothy are also provided training to further improve their teaching capacity through higher computer knowledge. It has to start with the teachers, hindi lang limitado sa traditional, the traditional method. So we're looking at what we call a 21st century learning methods, uh, wherein math, science, English are now being put together in a single lesson and in, in more practical ways for students to understand. Since the implementation of the GFS program in Andres Bonifacio Integrated School two years ago, the engagement between teachers and students has never been higher. Uh, madami po kami nagtunan ngayon. Uh, hindi po tulad ng dati. Kunyari, isang computer unit, uh, tatlo po kami. Baling mag-share po po kami. Yung ngayon, kung dumating po yung mga bagong technology, one is to one na po kami ngayon. As of this year, the Global Filipino School Program has made impact to 215 schools, 340,000 students, and 13,000 teachers nationwide. This ICT program of GLOBE is very effective in delivering quality 21st century education. The ICT program offered by GLOBE is quite beneficial to our students. It has caused much improvement in the instruction and also it helped make our students at peace with the fast changing social environment. Thanks to the GFS program, the Filipino youth now have a fighting chance to be globally competitive, armed with 21st century learning taught by 21st century educators. So now that we are in all key cities and provinces, these global Filipino schools now become a teacher training hub for continued learning for DepEd. So every global Filipino school has a teacher that is equipped to cascade and share that information, not just to the teachers within that global Filipino school, but to the neighboring schools as a mandate of DepEd. With the coming of Globe Telecoms with their Global Filipino School program, we change a lot. Hindi sila nag-donate lang. What's nice about them is they prepare us to utilize the materials. Um, they gave us a one-week program on teaching us on digital citizenship, how to train students, how to identify them, and develop them into um, critical thinkers. This um, gadgets capacitate now the teachers. It enables us to do something higher.